Today, I wanna to read you a book, and then I have something I wanna show you. So first, we're gonna read the book. This book is called Macduff Moves In by Rosemary Wells and Susan Jeffers. In the back of a dog catcher's truck sat a little white dog nobody wanted. Thump went the truck over a bump in the road. The little dog popped out into the night. He tumbled onto the soft earth of a tulip bed. He didn't know where he was. He needed something to eat. He needed a warm place to sleep. So he went looking. Woof, said the little white dog at the front door of number six Pine Road. But the answer from the other side was growl. Woof, said, he said on the front steps of number 12 Oak Lane. But someone said hiss from the woodpile. Strange voices hooted and whistled at him from the trees. Many pairs of eyes winked and blinked at him from the darkness of people's gardens. Rain poured down. It swirled and swept around him. Suddenly, the wind came up. It blew the clouds and rain away. and the moon smiled full on the world. Through an open window in the kitchen of number seven Elm Road wafted the smell of vanilla rice pudding and sausages. Woof, 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 said the little white dog. Nobody growled at him. Nobody hissed at him. Somebody opened the door and asked him to come in. It was Lucy. This is Fred, said Lucy. No one had ever asked him to come in. Everyone had always told him to go away. What does this collar say? asked Fred. Animal number 47. City dog pound, said Lucy. He needs help, said Fred. Lucy spooned out a dish of vanilla rice pudding. She sliced sausages on top of it. He's hungry, she said. After a coconut herbal bath, he looked like a snow cloud. We certainly can't keep him, Fred. We're much too busy. I guess we'll have to take him to the pound, said Lucy. So they brought him into the car. Fred drove up and down and around. You're going in circles, Fred, said Lucy. I don't want to find the dog pound, said Fred. I don't want you to find it, said Lucy. Fred and Lucy brought their new friend home. All he needs is a name, said Fred. They celebrated with hot chocolate. Lucy opened a tin of McDuff's Melt in Your Mouth Shortbread Biscuits. That's it, said Fred. Woof, woof, said McDuff. The night was nearly gone. The rain clattered and spattered all over everything. Lucy and Fred and Macduff fell sound asleep. How happy we are, they said in their dreams. The end. All right, guys, I have something I wanna show you now. I'm gonna give you some clues and see if you can guess what it is. Are you ready? Okay, your first clue is it's an animal. Do you think you know what it is? I'm gonna give you another clue. This animal is white. 
So it's a white animal. Do you think you know what it is? I'm gonna give you another clue. This animal has fur. Okay, so it's a white animal with fur. Do you think you know what it is? Here's your last clue. This, an this animal is a pet that barks. And did you just hear that? That was another clue. He just gave you another clue. Do you think you know what it is? All right, let's see if you can guess. Did you guess it? It's a puppy. Look, this is my puppy Murphy. And you know what? He looks kind of like Macduff in our book. Murphy's a puppy and he's learning lots of new things. And you know what? He's learning how to do some tricks. So we'll see if he'll do some of his tricks for us today, but he's still learning. Here we go. All right, you ready, buddy? Hey, Murphy, come here, buddy. Ready? Come on over here so I can see you. Ready? Can you sit? Or you can lay down. Yeah, you can lay down. Oh, lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. You go up. Up. Good boy. Good boy. Can you sit? Good boy. Yeah, you're already sitting. Good boy. All right, last one. Can you shake? Can you shake? Good boy. You know how to shake. It's your treat. There we go. Right. Thanks for watching today, guys, and for meeting my puppy Murphy.